How you doing? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for emergency and construction, construction, safety, and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, trucks, buses, SUVs, and etc. We're also your number one expert for accent lighting, like you can see right here. What you're looking at, a little bit dark, is a 2019 F-150 Shelby Edition. We did a little bit of green accent lighting on all the front grills. We also added a white LED off-road bar to the lower grill and we did green accent lighting on each of the side grills as well as you can see the side grill there a little bit there we go now that I cracked the shop door you can kind of see what we're looking at there this particular truck is done by Shelby comes with a supercharged 5.0 engine and what we did is add the green LED into the hood grill the regular headlight grill as well as the lower bumper grill on both sides we also did a lot of strobe lighting on this particular build Alrighty, now we've got the uh, shop lights on and the truck's parking lights on as well as some green accent lights Let me show you a little bit about what we did in the front with our strobe lighting But before that, let me show you that light bar we put in the front behind the bumper grill That's a 20 inch x5 bar very powerful very bright bolts up really nice right underneath that grill But again it has to be a Shelby truck for this to work. So without being a Shelby f-150 I don't think this bolting position is gonna work out Alrighty, now that we've lit it up, you can see there in the front fog lights, we have our mini thin amber in an alternating double, fla double flash fast pattern. We're also featuring our auto flasher on the DRL. Now you can see right now, because the vehicle's parking lights are on, we're getting a low bright, low bright flash on that DRL. And you can see here now that we have turned off the vehicle parking lights we get a bright off bright off flash for that drl so in the daylight this is what it's going to look like and in the nighttime when the vehicle's lights are on you will get that dim bright dim bright flash that is our auto flasher module on the drl for that f-150 you can see that on our website we are also featuring the auto flasher module on the white mirror lights you can see those white spotlights on the mirrors only certain trim lines have those make sure you have the white mirror lights if you're going to try to run an auto flasher and you can see that product on the website as well you can see how our mini thin does a real nice job of bouncing off the factory fog light and kicking a little bit of light forward but the primary focus of that mini thin is side warning here's where the mini thin really shines in that location when you're approaching an intersection the first thing they're going to be able to see when you're 90 degrees from this vehicle is the white mirrors, the mini thins in the fogs, and the wraparound flashing on the headlights there. Here's just a little straight on shot for you. Yeah, here's a good little angle. I like this shot. Alrighty, around the back of the truck, the first thing you might notice is underneath that bumper, we have some Baja S8 10-inch lights. We have a pair of them. Now, those are switched a couple of different ways. First off, when the truck is put into reverse, you can have them automatically activate, or we can force them on with our Mini 6 control panel that we mounted inside the truck. This particular client asked us for an abundance of reverse lighting. He does a lot of trailer loading and uh, etc. So we wanted to make sure we had a robust solution. So with this, he is more than covered. And there's the light up the shop, but uh, it does more than light up the shop. This produces, oh, I would say about a 200 foot circle of light out to a good 100, uh, 150 feet. So it, it lights a parking lot. We also gave him a rear flood mode when he doesn't quite need the suntan that the Baja lights provide. And in that flood mode, he's going to see his LED HAW Duo up in the cargo light, the white set, as well as our auto flasher module on the reverse lights, both flood white. When we have an amber set of LED HAW also in the cargo, and we needed to completely remove any and all factory cargo lighting for that to happen so if you do have a cargo and you wanted to try to squeeze in two hideaways on each side it is possible but it is an expert move and not that easy to do as you can see 
As I said, we do have the Amber Hideaway Duo up in the cargo, as well as more Mini Thin. We did the same Amber Mini Thins down low, right underneath the re the reverse, uh, right underneath the tail light, and we used the adhesive, the 3M adhesive included in the, included in the Mini Thin, to mount it right there. You see when I back up here a little bit, how that location is very good and it's very bright. Now when we turn off the flood mode in the back, we get more lighting to join the party. With the flood mode off, your auto flasher module on the reverse lights is wigwagging the reverse lights. And we now have a wigwag double flash fast pattern between two white and two amber LED HAW duo. Now the reason that I didn't use a split head amber white combo hideaway in that location is I'm not a big fan of a dual color hideaway. When you do a dual color hideaway, you essentially get half of each color. So half of the brightness. By slightly modifying, you can fit four total hideaways in the cargo and fire both white and both amber full-size hideaways at the same time. So in essence, if I was running a split hideaway, I'd be running half on each side. And this setup with a full light on each side would be twice as bright so that is why we do that in the cargo lights is to get maximum brightness out of that cargo light which as you can see I think we achieve there's a little bit farther away you get a very intense very bright amber white alternation up in the cargo light as well as a nice amber white alternation down by the reverse with the mini thins and the reverse auto flasher module nice clean unobtrusive installation and of course, if you happen to need to melt any snow or give someone a suntan, we do have those Baja lights as well underneath the rear bumper. So you can light up a football stadium if you'd like. Here's a little closer shot of that mini thin light and the way we mounted it there. Now it does come with an adhesive double face tape. We always use the primer 94 and uh, we are quite confident we don't need to use the screws when we use the primer 94 on not only the light, but also the material you're bonding it to that 3m really grabs good we did drill one hole for the wiring so i was trying to keep on this truck uh very minimal minimalistic damage install uh it is a shelby but um you know the owner was uh very open and very clear that uh he wanted the lights and he wasn't too worried uh just to do a nice clean install so right here the effect is well worth the single hole that we had to drill for the wiring you can see how clean and tight and tucked in there it mounts our tir3 also fits there and a lin 6 could fit but it's a bit tight right here on the radius so uh the mini thin is a little bit better choice or a tir3 i've used them both there i know you guys like to see the controllers set up so on this one we have light bar that's the front front lights for flashing rear lights for flashing green for our green lights reverse lights are those Big bad Bajas under the bumper and rear flood is what we saw earlier in the video. Tried to keep this as well damage free. I did not want to mess up this carbon fiber panel or carbon fiber lookalike. I'm not sure if it's real carbon fiber. So we mounted right behind it here. We were able to bolt down the mount for the Mini 6 very securely right behind it there without damaging that front panel. And we put a grommet right here to run the wiring through. So along the back of the Mini 6, you can see the wiring comes straight down. Sorry about it. I'll move all the camera. Sorry if I make you sick. There. And then we ran the wiring through there. Majority of our control center is right here in the side panel on the dash, of course. So that's, that's how we did our controller. I hope you like it. Customer likes it. Nice location. Easy access. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Be sure to check out links in the description of this video for the products that are available. And if you have any questions, please shoot an email in, reference the build number of this video, and we will get you all the information that we can on it. Thanks again for watching. Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting and equipment for your cars, vans, trucks, buses, SUVs, and everything in between.